Hello everyone, welcome to the class. In this class, we are going to take more uh, examples of crypto maths. So uh, we have the same direction that in the following question, each digit has been replaced by an alphabet. Find corresponding digits. Each question has a unique solution. So we got a question here. Uh, no gun, no is equal to hunt. So the first thing we have to do is to write the question in this way. No plus gun plus no is equal to hunt. Right. So as we uh, discussed in the previous uh, lecture that uh, first of all in addition you have to look for this digit that is H because you are adding a two digit number to a three digit number and to a two digit number. So the maximum number of digits here is three which is added to two digit number right and the answer is a four digit number so that means h can only be one there is no other possibility h is one and once you get any value just put it on one uh, corner so that you cannot assign this value one to any other uh, alphabet right okay so h is equal to one now what is the situation here? I am just writing G plus uh, some carry here. Now look at this N plus U plus N is giving you carry. So this carry can be 1 or it can be 2 because you are adding here 3 digit number and currently you do not know uh, U, right? Okay. So here you have G and uh, G plus uh, carry which can be 1 or which can be 2 and that is giving you H U. So H is 1 and this is U, right. So uh, in both the cases whether it is 1 or 2, this 1 U can be either 10 or 11. There is no other possibility. Now look at this, this 11 is not possible because that will give you u is equal to 1 and 1, the value 1 has already been assigned to h. So that means u is equal to 0, right, u is equal to 0 that is confirmed and obviously the value of g is not confirmed but we will take it further, okay. So the second thing, the second step I told you in the previous lecture as well that once you get some values. Uh, you can replace those values in the question itself. So, I am just rewriting it N O plus uh, G and U is equal to 0 and this is O and N plus no this is O is equal to hunt. Hunt H is equal to 1, U is equal to 0 and uh, this hunt. So we got this, right. Now two digits, uh, I mean two alphabet has been revealed H and U. So we have got a situation here that uh, uh, G and the carry is either uh, uh, 1 or 2 that is giving me 10. So now look at this situation N, we got here N, N plus 0 plus again N plus some carry from this uh, previous position plus some carry plus some carry. So this is giving me n, this is giving me n that means 10 plus n. Why I am writing 10 plus n? Because you can put the value of n. So n has to be a bigger digit, then only this situation is possible. So uh, just like I am just again rewriting it. So this is 2n plus carry plus carry is giving me 10 plus n. So if, if I take n is equal to uh, say 9, n is equal to 9. So I mean this can further be uh, simplified as n plus carry because I can subtract this n, n plus carry, n plus carry is equal to 10. So that carry can only be 1 or 2. So that means n can only be 8 or 9, right. Now put the situation, put the different value of n. So if I put the value of n is equal to um, uh, n is equal to 8, so the carry will be 2, right. If I put n is equal to 9, so in that case carry will be 1. 
So if I put n is equal to 9, then carry will be 1. So these two situation is possible. So this is one thing and earlier we have seen that uh, uh, g plus carry which is uh, 1 or 2 will give you 10. So this g and this n, you have to look for both these equations simultaneously and we'll have to determine whether it is uh, which one is 8 and which one is 9 because we know here as well that g will take the value either 8 or 9. So just look at this. If I put the value of n as 8 and carry as 2, right? So this will give me 10 and this will give me the value of g is equal to, I am just writing here, uh, n is equal to 8 in that, in this case, I am just putting this value n is equal to 8 and carry is equal to 2. So in this case, uh, we get the value of n is equal to 8 and g is equal to 9. So this is one situation, both values are different. So in the other situation, in the other uh, possibility, if I take uh, n is equal to 9, in that case carry will be 1, that means from previous place. So look at this, 9 plus 9, 18 plus 1 carry will give you n, that is okay. 9 plus 9, 18 plus 1, 19 and the carry will be 1 to this place. So this place the carry will be 1, right? And if you are taking n is equal to 9, so in that case g will be 8 and 8 plus 1 will give you only 9, not 10. So that is why this n is equal to 9 is ruled out and we have to take n is equal to 8, right? So n is equal to 8, g is equal to 8, u is equal to 0, h is equal to 1. So we got, we, we have not got all the uh, digits as of now. So what we can do, we can rewrite again. So we got the value of n. So I am just writing here n, uh, n value is 8. So this is 8 and o, we have to find what is o and then g is equal to 9 and this is 0 and this is uh, again 8 and uh, this is no again that means 8 and o and if you add this, you will get how much? You will get 1, 0, n is equal to 8 and this is t, right? So we have to reveal what is o and what is t, two more alphabet is to be revealed, okay? So now we have o plus 8 plus o, this will give me t, this will give me t and obviously one uh, here to carry because we have considered this case, this is the right case to carry. So that means O has to be a bigger number or further it can be uh, uh, written as 2 O right plus 8 is equal to uh, 20 plus T because this is giving you 2 carry or you can further uh, write it 2 O is equal to 12 plus T. So we got here 2 O is equal to 12 plus T from this we can reveal uh, what is behind O and T. So you can t if you take the value of O as 6, right? that is the least wa possible value you can think of. So if you take O is equal to 6, T will be 0, but we cannot take T is 0 as 0 has already been assigned to you. right? So O is equal to, I am just writing here, O is equal to 6 is ruled out then you think of, you cannot think of 8 and 9 because again 8 and 9 has been taken by n and g. Okay, so think of 7, if o is equal to 7, so that will give you t is equal, uh, this is uh, 14, so 12 plus 2, so that means uh, uh, o is equal to, if you are taking o is equal to 7, that will give you t is equal to 2, which is acceptable value because all are different. So we got all the values, there is no other possibility and now we can rewrite this thing that is uh, 8 and corresponding to O is 7. So 87 plus uh, 908 plus again 87, so that is uh, 108 and t is equal to 2. So let us again uh, check it. So this is uh, 
14 plus 8 22 carry is 2 here carry is 2 8 plus 8 16 plus 2 18 plus 1 carry 9 plus 1 10 so this is correct and we got all the values here right so this is how we have solved this question let us take uh, one more question so we have this question take plus a plus cake is equal to kate so the one thing the very first thing that we have to do is to write this question in a different way to make it so here we have take plus a plus cake is equal to kate so look at this this is also a problem again a problem of uh, uh, addition so uh, look at this position but here what we have we are adding a four digit number to one digit number to again a four digit number and we are getting a four digit number there is no extra digit so this carry thing will not apply in order to find out the leftmost digit in this case okay so what we will do look at this situation a and a is giving you a and here also we have a so that means a cannot be zero because this number will then not exist so i'm just writing here which is with things which are definite a is not zero so what can be a so if it is not zero looking at the property of different digits a can only be nine why i'm telling you this because from this place carry can only be one because you are adding k and k only two digits so in when you are adding two digit carry can only be one so i am getting here what a plus a plus one carry and that is giving me a that means 10 plus a right so i can further write it a is equal to 9 so that means a is equal to 9 9 plus 9 18 plus 1 carry is giving you 9 19 right so i am just writing here a is equal to 9 we got one value a what else we can get here okay so now look at this e plus the first uh, this first uh, column e plus a plus e is giving you e that means it can be uh, uh, 10 plus e or this can be 10 plus e or i'm just writing as well 20 plus e right so this is basically 2 e plus a is equal to 9 we already get that is uh, 10 plus e this is one situation and in other situation uh, 2e plus 9 is equal to 20 plus e 20 why i am writing 20 because in case it is giving you a carry of 2 so this is not possible because this will give you e is equal to 19 uh, sorry e is equal to 11 20 minus 9 right so this is not possible the value of e has to be uh, 0 to 9 only and it cannot be 9 as well in this case so from here you get e is equal to 1 so i'm just writing here e is equal to 1 so that means 9 plus 1 plus 1 9 plus 1 10 plus 1 11 and uh, 11 1 here and 1 is carried to this place so this is the situation here we got two values a and e so i'm just rewriting it uh, t and uh, this is 9 this is k and 1 a is equal to 9 and c a a is equal to 9 and then k and 1 so this is giving me what k and a is equal to 9 and t 1 so i have just rewritten this now here the carry is 1 which is very clear here the carry is also 1 because 9 plus 9 and you, you got here 9 so that means from here you are getting 1 carry so for 19 you get here 9 and 1 is carried so now what we can write that t plus c plus 1 this 1 carry this 1 carry will give you k no extra digit so this is 1 this is one equation you have to look t plus c plus 1 is equal to k one equation okay and the other equation can be this k plus k and carry is one so here i am writing k plus k plus one carry is giving you 10 plus t 10 plus t because uh, for one one carry you get 10 and plus t 
So, again I can, I can simplify it. So, this is basically 2 k is equal to 9 plus t. So, this is the second uh, equation I got and this, these are the simple equation we can solve it because I have already included 10 the carry. But the problem is you have three different variable t, c and k and two equations. So, you cannot solve it you have to put the value in order to find out which uh, suits to that uh, uh, solution a unique solution. So, I am just writing uh, here t right and uh, k. So, k will come out to be I can write here 9 plus t by 2 from this k is equal to 9 plus t by 2 and c I am writing here c. So, c is equal to uh, k minus t minus 1. So, c is equal to I am just writing here k minus 1 minus t. Why I am doing this because I will put the value and to find out which value suits the solution and maybe we will get all the value in a single attempt right ok. So, look at this 2 k is equal to 9 plus t. So, that means t has to be an odd number t has to be odd number right. Then only you will get the value of k in uh, uh, integer otherwise not. So, now odd number start with 1, but you cannot take the value of 1 because 1 has already been taken by e. Okay. So, the next value is 3, I am writing all the values 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 also you cannot take because it has already been taken. Okay. So, if t is 3, k will be 9 plus 3 that is 12 by 2, 6 and c will be k uh, which is uh, 6 minus 1, 5, 5 minus 3 that is 2. So, we get this value which is definitely a unique value 3, 6 and 2 we do not have this value here. So, this satisfied our case and we will uh, give you the solution, but just for checking let us uh, uh, take for other values. If t is equal to 5 you will get uh, k is equal to uh, 7 9 plus 5 uh, 14 by 2 7 and c will be 7 minus 1 6 6 minus uh, 6 minus 5 that is 1. So, that is giving you c is equal to 1 which is not acceptable because that 1 has already been assigned to e right. Also check for 7. So, if t is 7 k is equal to 8 k is equal to 8 and in that case uh, c will be 8 minus 1 7 minus 7 that is 0. So, that is also not acceptable why because that gives you c is equal to 0 and you cannot put the value 0 here because it will make it a 3 digit number and we have here 4 digit number c a k e. So, this is also not acceptable only acceptable value is this that means uh, t is equal to 3 and uh, k is equal to 6 and c is equal to 2. So, I am just writing this uh, here values and this is the solution. So, I am just rewriting it what is the actual sum. So, take take means uh, 3, a means 9, k is 6 and then 1 and then this is 9, a is equal to and here I am writing 2, 9, 6, 1 and th this will give me 6, 9, 6, 9, 3, 1. Let us check it. So, 9 plus 10 1, 6 plus 6, 12 plus 1, 13 carry 1, 9 plus 9, 18 plus 9 carry 1 and this is 3 plus 2 plus 1 carry. So, this is the actual sum. So, in this video I have solved uh, two more questions of crypto maths and these solutions will be helpful to you in order to get the tricks and techniques of questions of crypto maths. Subscribe to the channel for more aptitude videos.